Do you know what this is? Do you think there's any connection between this, say, and an iPhone or iPad? Or hey, maybe even iTunes. This is an LP, or long playing record. Back in the days, say in the 1960s, when you put this on this, you got a sound that was so incredible and so cool, you really felt that you, you were in the studio with the musicians. Back in the day, it was a must-have item. Do you have one? I'm very fortunate that my guest on Armchair Traveler today is a gentleman who has tons of these. So come with me and let's talk about the incredible, amazing world of vinyl. We're talking with Chuck Klaus, the curator of the Grand Emporium, um, I was going to say museum, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever, in San Pedro. First of all, we're surrounded uh, by a huge collection of CDs and records and vinyl. Tell our viewers a little bit about vinyl. I mean, is vinyl still popular? And if it is, why is it? Vinyl is incredibly popular these days. And what's happening is that young people seem to be going back to it as a means of getting closer in touch with music. I think there might be something in the fact that we don't deal with the physical artifact anymore in a lot of ways when we're downloading things, when we're listening to things on computer or iPad. Um, with, with vinyl, you've got the artifact in front of you, you've got notes, you've got a large representation of the artistic design of the record cover, as well as what many people feel is a warmer source of the music, a more um, sort of human approach to the art of listening. I'm probably up to about five or six thousand records here. Wait a minute, Sa thousands? Yeah, five or six thousand records and maybe about four thousand CDs. And we also do books at the Grand Emporium too, so we've got a few thousand of those stacked around and a few hundred autographs and um, DVDs and laser discs and videotapes and <laughs> we're, we're, we're champions of the lost format I guess. Before we close out um, give us a look into the future of vinyl I mean is it here to stay what do, what, what do you see as the future of vinyl? I, I think in a sense it's kind of like the the breakup of so many things into little segments these days it used to be that we had three TV networks and that was it and then they there were hundreds of cable networks. Um, I think once upon a time, listening was in a sense sort of monolithic. You listen to LPs, but now you can listen to LPs or CDs or downloads. Um, it, these things are going to continue to kind of multiply and people will be able to find their comfort zone, what they enjoy best, what they get the most pleasure from. And uh, to me, that's absolutely terrific. Ah, dear viewer, as you see, I'm lost in the soothing sounds of a wonderful LP. Sounds so mellow, so peaceful, I went into dreamland and had to come to the studio to do this close about vinyl. Do you, do you own any of this magic? Until we meet again, I'm John Clayton with another edition of Armchair Traveler. Thanks so much for watching.